Here is my Bobcat 610. Uh, we originally bought this oh, around 1975. Bought it brand new to use on the farm. And about oh, four years ago, the original engine blew a connecting rod. It sat for a few years. It was a Wisconsin V4. And I pulled it out, finding parts to rebuild it. And But I did want to use it just around the house here. We uh, bought another Bobcat to replace it for the farm. So I installed a 16 horsepower engine off of a starting unit that I bought at auction for $65. A little underpowered, but it works for what I need here. Actually still lifts about the same. And I'll show you the engine here. Had to make some modifications to get it to work. I built a special mounting plate. And I couldn't use the automatic sheave clutch on this one, so I took a snowmobile clutch, the secondary machined uh, fitting for it, and I adjusted the uh, gear range that I want. And works pretty good. And stuff. Originally, uh, this one had a variable sheave in it, so you could get different uh, speed ranges. Uh, these old Bobcats, they basically worked as a direct drive like a snowmobile and then everything else was hydraulic later skid loaders are all hydraulic so you can see down here there's the clutch part machine the two halves and drop the belt down to a lower gear range but it works and uh, until i get parts get the other one whoops overhauled and stuff and got a separate little gas tank up here to feed it because uh, the pump on this one isn't strong enough to draw the fuel tank but we'll start her up once here. Let me get this over here. All right, got my custom starting here. Get the throttle set. Put a choke. Another hydraulic pump to run out of hydraulic. We're on the uh, Wisconsin engine which bolted it right to the engine itself. But it works good too. Same uh, PSI, same flow rate. And I had to modify a bucket off of another machine to work since the original one was rusted out pretty good. Okay, and I'm just waiting on some bearings for the other engine and get that put back together this winter and throw it back in. But it actually works pretty good. The only problem is it lost about four or five hundred pounds of weight, so it does tend to spin a little bit. The lifting's still the same. Well, I thought you might be interested. Uh, so you can still keep this old stuff going with a little modifications and some ingenuity, and uh, you get a skid loader. She should still work years from now. Yeah, pretty good machine. And my Farmall M sitting in the tent. Got to do some work on that this winter too. Yeah, along with a few other things around here.